In this presentation, we're going to look at the Poisson distribution, and we're going to look at an example. So, past experience shows that on average, there are two traffic accidents on a particular stretch of road every week. What is the probability of four accidents during a randomly selected week, and zero accidents on a randomly selected week? Well, here X is going to be number of accidents. And we're interested in the probability of x equal to 4 and the probability of x equal to 0. So just take a moment there just to sort of see how what I've just written there at the bottom matches to the two questions that were being asked. Okay, now, and what's the information we're given? Now, the Poisson mean in both cases is lambda equal to 2 per week. So this is our Poisson mean. Just as a remark, the unit period stays the same for both questions. It's one week. There's some questions where the unit period might change, and that's something that you have to look out for. It's not relevant in this case. So we're going to use this formula here, the probability of e to the minus lambda. That's the Poisson mean. e is the exponential number. So e to the minus lambda times lambda to the power of k all over k factorial. Now, k is the number we're actually particularly interested in. Now, subbing in our value for lambda is 2. So uh, rather than have lambda, I'm going to ha uh, just change it to e to the minus 2 times 2 to the power of k all over k factorial. Now, just as a quick remark, this e to the minus 2 is a bit of calculator work. It's something you would uh, use your uh, find uh, with your calculator. Just as a remark, if you, uh, you should get something, a number very similar to this not point one three five three you might get it to a few more decimal places so if just take a moment there to make sure that you're able to get a number that number there okay so we're ready to begin our question so the probability of four accidents in a randomly selected week so that's probably of x equal to four so here's our here's how we would calculate that in this particular case k is equal to four so e to the minus 2 times 2 to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial. So uh, this is equal to not 0.1353. That's this number here. 2 to the power of 4, that's a bit of calculator work. That works out to be 16. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is actually works out to be 24. So working that out all together, that is 0 0.1353 by 16 divided by 24. I'll just write it in there again. It's 24. That is uh, equal to 0 0.9, sorry, 0 0.0902. I'll just work to four decimal places because I've been using that so far. So that is the answer to the first one. It is about 9%. 9% approximately. Okay, so let's look at the second one here now. Probability of x equal to 0. So, here in this particular question, k is equal to 0. So, we have not 0.1353 times 2 to the power of 0 is always 1. Anything to the power of 0 is always 1. Okay. And we're going to divide that by 0 factorial. 0 factorial is also 1. Okay, so it's one uh, 0.1353 times 1 divided by 1. So the answer here is 0.1353, which is about 13.5%. Okay, so little banana skin there is 0 factorial. That's always equal to 1. And anything to the power of zero is always is also always equal to one. And that ends our presentation.